Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try and film a day in the life. At the moment it is the summer holidays. Mia, my two-year-old daughter, is about to start nursery, kindergarten, leg scully, that's what we call it here in Iceland. She's about two weeks away from that so today I'm going to start getting her prepared for going off to leg scully. <laughs> For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Sonia and I make motherhood and lifestyle and kind of Iceland related videos and vlogs. So welcome along, please subscribe if you like this kind of video. We're all up and ready and this one is getting ready. Yeah, clever girl. We're going to take daddy to work now, aren't we? all day going upstairs at this rate. So we're just back to the house now. Mia has some blocks and her xylophone and a rattly thing as well. So she's going to be noisy in the background, but that's fine. She's happy. I am just going to grab my cold coffee, which is here, drink the rest of that whilst I go through shop orders for today and emails. That will take me about five to eight minutes to do <laughs> and Mia will drink some water and then we're gonna get all of our layers back on and head out for the day. I've got a mask now so I think we can go to Barnalopin which is a kind of second-hand shop for children's clothes and some toys and things. They have a little play area as well. Mia doesn't typically let me shop much there. Do you missus? No, um, she doesn't really seem to like that shop very much, so it's a bit awkward, but we need to start buying some things that are on the kindergarten list. We have many layers and we have the overalls and all of the waterproof stuff and I've ordered a few things that Gran Rosa is going to smuggle over for us, um, but we do need to get, it's gone from my mind the woolen jumper, uh, Lopa Pesa, which is a very Icelandic thing, but I think that it's going to be on the list. So I'm gonna buy it secondhand because they're hugely expensive. And unfortunately we don't have an Icelandic grandmother to make one for us. And I can maybe knit her a hat at most, but I know that you can get them there. So we will take you along to shop there. We're going to go to the post office with some prints for the shop and then when she naps, I'm going to try and start editing to get on top of the workload today. The forecast for the next week is basically rain, 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 rain. So it's not looking great for Gran Rosa's visit. She arrives tomorrow. It's 11 degrees, but feels like nine. Mia has now gone to her room to play, which she's really good at independent play. It's something that I felt very strong about. And I'm glad that it's worked for us because I know that we're very lucky to have that so I can get some time and I can talk to you and I can stay sane and not be pulled along by her every second of the day. I would say that summer is over <laughs> in Iceland. We did have a good summer. We had some good sunny, sunny days and decent-ish temperatures. It was very varied, but then it's Iceland. Um, <laughs> Iceland in the summer you get about 22 hours of daylight and then in the winter time you get about four hours of daylight. Personally I've gotten used to the summer here because in Scotland it's not that different from 22 hours. It's a big change between those seasons and personally I prefer winter. I feel like you can control it a lot more, you can kind of make it more bright with lovely twinkly fairy lights and so on. So. I feel like the way this year is going, I'm just gonna give in and enjoy looking forward to Christmas and you're okay, baby, up you go. Yeah. We're gonna put the fairy lights on. We're gonna put some Hallmark cheesy movies on because I love them. 
and get some blankets on the sofa and cuddle up and just look forward to Christmas. I always think that these kind of videos are quite interesting because really they're just you or me <laughs> pottering around doing my normal day-to-day -day chores and things and it's not really that interesting or exciting. When Mia's gone to bed I'll curl up on the sofa or in bed and just stick on a, a vlog or a day in your life video and just have a nosy and I find it quite calming actually so hopefully you feel the same. Let me know in the comments down below if this is a relaxing thing to watch or a nosying thing for you or you just want to generally see what Mia's up to or how I parent or why do you watch these videos? Okay, we're now in the car. It's still rainy. It's 14 degrees. It can be 14 degrees. It's cold today. We're gonna go and visit Mia's friend Freya, who is the daughter of my friend Lindsay. And we're gonna have some coffee or tea with them, get a little catch up. Mia can have a little play and say baby a million times. Uh, we're giving them Mia's old swim stuff because Freya's gonna start swim lessons soon. And then I think we're going to attempt some shops. I have put lipstick on, which occurred to me, it was a really foolish idea because this and lipstick doesn't really go together. This is gonna be really strange for you. The only time I've ever worn a face mask before, and we're very lucky here in Iceland, this is the first time that we're having to actually wear face masks and it's not a rule yet it's just a kind of suggestion yeah um but the only time i've ever worn one was in india when there was just so much air pollution that you just couldn't you didn't want to breathe in the disgusting fumes um from all the fireworks after diwali so today i am donning the face mask this one is just one of the kind of disposable ones, but it's gonna be put on today. And I look like a surgeon. There we go. And this is what I'm gonna look like, and Mia's gonna find it very strange, and my glasses are already steaming up, so now I can't see. But obviously, I'm gonna be wearing one and have no worries about putting it on or concerns or problem with wearing one because the alternative is obviously a lot worse. So no issues whatsoever. What are you doing in there? Are you a baby? <laughs> You've been a baby. You used to have that when you were a baby. <laughs> this is a bit of a disaster. He's already fallen asleep before nap time. Hmm. <laughs> we are now making some lunch for Mia. We, me, and blowing some bubbles. Oh, Mia. Right, lunchtime. Mia has already eaten all of the bread and not touched her omelette before I've sat down. I have a fried egg on toast with some tuna. She fell asleep for like the car ride and then as soon as I brought her up, she woke up. So we're gonna fuel up and then see if she'll have a nap. Straight up from a nap and straight to your shoes. There's so many good things here, but of course, I can't talk, <laughs> I can't talk with this on to tell you. How cute is this? It's beautiful, there's so much. I need to stay focused. So this is what I've got so far. Basically, two jumpers, a woolly one and a fleece one, <laughs> and then a whole load of gloves. This is mad. So I've got some socks, some really cool welly boots, and then all of these are gloves and snow gloves and hats and mittens and wool and fleece and cozy 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 
I think I've done pretty well. I just got so much stuff. Let me take all of this off. Now let me show you. Look at this entire bag full of goodies for Mia. I am roasting now. Should I do a mini haul here? I really shouldn't because I need to go for Mia and then I need to go and pick up Ingemar. So I'll message him and then I'll take you guys along. I don't know who to get first. Mia probably. Okay, need to think. I'm now sitting here waiting for someone to come out of a parking space in Costco. I feel like mum life sometimes or quite often is trying to get 50 things done in like the space of five minutes and that is definitely today. I just picked up Mia from her auntie. She was there for an hour so I could run around Barnalop and on my own and get focused on what I needed to get. Now I'm creating a queue. <laughs> This is definitely a situation. They're coming out finally. <laughs> this is hilarious. And after all that, someone nearly stole the space. I hate when people do that. They can see that you're waiting and indicating and they come in. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Yeah, 50 million things in one day. I look frazzled, I'm roasting now, and I now have a car empty <laughs> and I'm just waiting on everyone. So I picked up Mia, she was in the back. We had to change her at the side of the road. Then I went to Ingmar's work, picked up him and his boss, who are now at Costco because, well, it wouldn't be a living in Iceland vlog if we didn't go to Costco and Ikea. Now it's late and I'm tired and <laughs> I've got no idea what we're gonna have for dinner. And I feel like A, we always go to Ikea in vlogs and B, I'm basically just speaking to you in the car all of this vlog. So I'm sorry if that's not what you signed up for today. See, I'm not actually on my own. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Where's my dinner? Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. <laughs> And the people from Glasgow Where's... who are watching, I'm the one who got Ingemar the job in the Woo! last vlog. <laughs> yes! Finally! Yay! Done. Hey! <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick Barnal up and haul. Ingemar is here because he's not seen what I bought yet, so I will show you guys at the same time. I propped you up on a couple of these. Good tripod. Are you ready? Yep. A whole bag full. Okay, we'll start off with the best thing. These wellies. They're so cool though, look at that design. Aren't they brilliant? And they're fleecy lined. So these will do her, they're the size up from what she's wearing right now, which measures two sizes up from what she's wearing, but they have been used, but not a huge amount. So second hand, obviously um, 750 krona, which is like four, three or four pounds, a bargain. Next, some fab woolly socks. And they've got cute little crocheted uh, detailing on the edges of them and these are nice woolly socks 400 krona like £1.50 all of the accessories to keep her nice and warm so I've got some mittens stripy ones and some plain purple ones and those were 150 and 500 the pricing was quite random today so I don't know bargain and a little bit more expensive some hats so this is a little bobbly hat and it's got matching mittens inside so I figured just get a whole pile of them because she's no doubt gonna lose half of these within the first few weeks. So that together was 700, which is about a fiver. Then this little white hat, which will go with everything, is really super stretchy. So that will fit for a good while. And that was 300, so like a pound. Carrying on on the mittens and gloves. 
we've got some 66 degree north uh, 500 for these. These are very well used, but they're still nice and cozy. And these will go underneath these in the winter time. These are her waterproof gloves and those were 500 as well. So all of that will keep her nice and cozy warm in the snowy winter months. I got this gorgeous fleecy top, which has got like a swoosh on the side of it. And that was a bargain 300 krona, which is a pound and then the last thing is this nice lilac woolly top which is really cute at the back and it just has a couple of threads coming out of it like this I'm not sure if you can see but I'm just gonna darn them back in and that will fit her for a while to come and that was uh, 500 so a good few things to start getting her ready for autumn and winter in leg scully in kindergarten really are you gonna come in like this mm -hmm. i think tonight we're gonna chill out and try and just watch some actually just watch some netflix have a cup of tea and just chill because tomorrow early morning we're off to the airport because hopefully everything going to plan gran rosa is arriving which is no hopefully everything going to plan they'll close the border please no. please i beg you <laughs> No, yeah, she, she's her. arriving tomorrow and I can't wait because we've not seen her for a good few months. She's not seen Mia since Mia was one. Um, so yeah, we'll, we will definitely vlog some of her trip and share some of that with you. Yeah, I'm coming back to say bye. <laughs> so we will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye bye! <laughs> that was right in my ear. I know. <laughs>